Hey guys, Demise here. Welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I will be talking about the brand new Fusion. Since I've seen a lot of people been hating on this or actually underrating it by too much, this is actually affecting some of the people on Discord for the earlier game players. These people actually think that this Fusion is trash. And I'm going to make this video just in case because this Fusion is actually extremely good. And I don't know why so many people are actually hating on it. Before we actually go to the Fusion, you can see that this clan we can has been way too close. The funny thing is we are actually tier 1 and yet we are scoring way more than the tier 3. So this CVC is actually really really close. There are a lot of people down here that are slacking. Although our minimum for this clan is only 30k CVC points. However, there are a lot of people look at the top whales. They have been pushing like crazy and I appreciate for the carry guys. So I'm going to be working on pushing a few more CVC points before the CVC does end. However, I'm going to put the skills of the brand new champion up here. You guys can actually see that this fusion is really, really good. So the A1 extends the HP burn and poisons. It's not a 100%, so that's the unfortunate thing about it. However, it's still not that bad of an A1 if you think about it. Because any time that you can try to extend the debuffs he puts, it's not that bad. And then the A2 attacks all the enemy two times. The first hit instantly activates all poison and HP burn debuffs and activates all of the continuous heals as well. The second hit destroys the target's max HP by 3% for each poison and HP burn debuff, and this can stack up to 60%, so this is actually a really really good destroy HP champion. The A2 also fills all turn meters of all allies by 20%. I completely forgot to mention this during the recording, so there it is. But the A3 is where it really all begins. The A3 can drop 2 poisons, but if they are under an HP burn debuff, it's going to drop 3 poisons and weaken. All of these are the big versions, which is why it's really good. And he also places 2 continuous healings on all allies. And then the passive, really really underrated as well. I don't know if people actually noticed. The first part, it's, it's meh. The damage inflicted by poison and HP burn can go through block damage and unkillable buffs. That's not bad. But whenever allies attack enemies with destroyed max HP, the damage dealt by them is increased by 10%. This makes it so that you can actually do your dungeon runs way quicker. Or if you couldn't push through that content before because you lack damage, he's actually going to help you push through it really really quickly. And then he also has an aura that increases ally speed in all battles by 20%. In addition to that, this guy is an Ogryn. So to the people who haven't completed the Ogryn faction wars yet, it, this guy's gonna be really really helpful, probably can solo carry the faction already, which is why this guy's value is really really high. And if you think about it, a few years ago people would say Badal might have been the number one champion in the game, and this guy is actually close to Badal level. In fairness, I might say this guy's actually on par with Badal, the only difference is Badal can cleanse, and then this guy can place an extra poison and weaken. This guy can also instantly activate the debuffs and buffs that he puts on, so really really good synergy with himself. I also wanted to mention that the A3, it's if any targets are under an HP burn, which means not everybody has to be having an HP burn active to have the three poisons land. You only need one of the enemies to be burning, which means you can pair this brand new fusion up with either Drekstar or Akoth, depending on which one you have. But these two are free to play options of really good HP burners. The thing that people underlook the most for this champion is that this guy is a really really good pair to the people who can throw a bunch of poisons to the enemies. So let's say Tomb Lord, Kalvalax, or anyone that can throw a bunch of poisons. This guy can instantly activate it. And we do win the clan v clan right here, so sorry for that. We need to go sidetrack first. It did count so as a free to play, I'm able to hit near the 150k mark really, really easily. I didn't even pull any of my champions, as you can see here. I still have two legendaries and two epics. I could have easily helped the clan out even more if we needed it. But the clan did do really well, and I think next one, I think we should be able to get boosted to tier number 3 already. If not, we actually might go to tier number 4, seeing that the lowest is 3.1, and we've gone way over 3.2. We could be tier number 4 for the next CVC, which would be really nice. There are a lot of extra rewards that I could use here. Getting back to the topic, as I was saying, Badel used to be one of the best possible champions in the game. Because of this simple move, he cleanses, places 2 poisons, and places 2 continuous heals. 
And if you guys don't have this champion on screen right now, Theodore, the new fusion's value actually skyrockets really high. Because if this is your first ever poisoner that can give you continuous healing and do poison explosion, then this guy is 100% a must-have. I would highly suggest going for this one, trust me. This type of champion can solo dungeons really, really quickly. You can probably go from stage 1 to stage 25 with this guy alone, despite being really early in the game. Since the higher dungeon you go, the more HP they have, which means the, mo the poisons will actually be worth way more. And combining with the passive and the second skill when the HP has been destroyed, you and your allies can actually do so much more damage, it's unbelievable. After talking about the fusion, we actually have the Hunter's Path right here. You can get Hansel or Gretel's Soul. Honestly, who even went for either one of these champions? Like, the past fusions have been absolutely garbage, which is why the brand new fusion has actually been really, really surprising to me. And I'd say most of the people have been really, really surprised too, since it's actually a really good one. And for this Hero's Path, I just realized it's called Hero's Path, and then the name down here is called Hunter's Path. So I have no idea what they're doing here. But I think this 3 hour gear removal is really worth it. So if you guys are very interested, you should definitely be pushing here. It is just upgrade and summon champions. It's not that difficult, I think. Let's go check it out. Yeah, after getting so much hate, they finally made this so easy. The rank 2 and rank 1 actually gave you 2 points instead of 1. Mystery shards give you 3. So Plarium has decided to fix their game. And now it's so much better and easier. I might actually push a lot for these. Especially going for these soul stones. I'll probably be going for them. But to summarize the video, I will be doing the fusion as a free to play. And if you guys are interested on in following along, you guys should definitely subscribe as I will be posting daily updates on it. And I'll also be giving you the full fusion plan for a free to play player. So I can guarantee you guys that you will be able to get this brand new fusion. If you guys are also interested, Make sure you guys do comment down below your Discord ID. I am currently doing free coaching and free takeovers for you guys. I'll be making a video on your account. So if you guys are interested, make sure you comment your Discord ID down below. Aside from that, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Make sure you guys do drop a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one.